okay now we are going to discuss about the electronic configurations electronic configurations of 13th group elements or 3rd A group elements electronic configurations electronic configurations okay first of all what is the third a group elements boron aluminium gallium indium thallium these are the 13th group a these are 13th group or third a group elements what are the elements here i am writing the elements names first two, element here symbol element symbol atomic number at number means atomic number okay ec ec means electronic configuration ec means electronic configuration okay here first element in the third year group or 13th group element what is the first element boron 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 what is the symbol of boron b symbol of boron is a b what is the atomic number atomic number is a 5 atomic number is a 5 what is the electronic configuration helium 2s2 2p1 2s2 2p1 already i told last outer electronic configuration is a ns2 np1 so that means 2s2 2p1 if we go the down in the group means it will be increase the shells if we go the down means atomic number increase means shells will be increase okay so helium after that neon after that argon krypton xenon redon like that they are increasing the shells 2s2 after that 3s2 3p uh, 4s2 5s2 6s2 6, uh, 5p1 6p1 like that it will be increased next after boron aluminium aluminium what is the symbol of aluminium al what is the atomic number of aluminium 13 what is the electronic configuration neon 3s2 3p1 c if we go the down means shells will be increased here 2s2 is there here 3s2 Atomic number also increase here 5, here 13. Next, next element gallium. Gallium. What is the symbol of gallium? GA. What is the atomic number? Atomic number is a 31. Atomic number is a 31. What is the electronic configuration? Argon. 3d10 4s2 4p1 here 3s2 3p1 after that 4s2 4p1 here 3d10 is there okay 3d10 4s2 4p1 why because atomic number is increasing so shells also will be increase in the down gallium gallium after that indium 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 in symbol is a in 49 atomic number 49 what is the electronic configuration krypton 4d10 krypton 4d10 and 5s2 5p1 5s2 5p1 next last element is a thallium last element is a thallium what is the symbol of thallium tl what is the atomic number? 81. Xenon. Xenon. 4F. 14. 5D10. 6S2. 6P1. This is the electronic configuration of thallium. 
फोर एफ फोर्टीन फाइव डी टेन सिक्स एस टू सिक्स पी वन जीना फोर एफ फोर्टीन फाइव डी टेन सिक्स एस टू सिक्स पी वन ओके दीज आर दि एलक्ट्रानिक कन्फिगरेशन आफ थर्ड ए ग्रूप एलिमेंट्स दीज आर दि एलक्ट्रानिक कन्फिगरेशन आफ थर्ड ए ग्रूप एलिमेंट्स ओके बिफोर दैट वी डिस्कस्ड वन वर्ड वाट इज दट बोरन एंड एल्यूमिनियम शोज दि सिमिलर प्रॉपर्टीज ड्यू टू दि सिमिलर आउटर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिगरेशन दे शो डिफरेंसेस इन सम ऑफ दि प्रॉपर्टीज ड्यू टू दि डिफरेंस इन दि नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट इन देर पेनाल्टिमेट शेल ओके दट इज द पॉइंट सो वन वी हेव टू चेक बोरन एंड एल्यूमिनियम दे हेव सिमिलर प्रॉपर्टीज ड्यू टू दि इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिगरेशन ओके हियर दिस इज अ बोरन फर्स्ट एलिमेंट बोरन एंड एल्यूमिनियम See the electronic configuration. Two s to two p one. Here three s to three p one. Similar electronic configuration. Outer electronic configuration is the. This is outermost electronic configuration. Okay, shell is different only, but in s orbital two electrons is there. In p orbital one electron is there. That is the same. Shells will be increased. That is a different. But number of electrons is the same in s orbital and in p orbital. I am talking about the outer electronic configuration. Now here we are uh, discussing about the outer electronic configuration. Outer electronic configuration means valency shell. Valency shell electronic configuration is called outermost shell electronic configuration. Okay, here same is there. That's why they shows the similar properties. And another word also there. What is another word? They show differences in some of the properties. In some of the properties, they shows the differences. Why? It is due to the difference in the number of electrons present in their penultimate shell. Okay. penultimate shell means what before the valency shell that is called penultimate shell okay in this 3s to 3p1 3s to 3p1 is a outermost shell or valency shell before that penultimate shell is there in the penultimate shell here helium is there here neon is there helium atomic number is a 2 neon is a 10 that means here two electrons is there and here Ten electrons is there. Why? Because here already three electrons is there. Total atomic number five. Remaining two electrons. Here three electrons is there. Remaining ten. Why? Because atomic number of aluminium is a thirteen. Okay. I will show them exact variation in boron and aluminium penultimate shell. Okay. For suppose this is a atom boron and aluminium i am going to explain okay what is the electronic configuration of boron generally if we write the general electronic um, complete electronic configuration means 1s2 2s2 2p1 why because boron atomic number is a 5 2 1s2 2s2 2p1 okay these 2s2 2p1 is a outermost shell and 1s is a penultimate shell okay and uh, in the same way aluminum aluminum 13 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and 3p1 3p1 the total number of electrons is a 13 okay this is a outermost shell 3s2 3p1 what is the penultimate shell 2s2 2p6 is a penultimate shell for suppose this is a aluminum atom okay aluminum atom we have to fill the electrons this is a first shell okay this is a first shell this is a second shell this is a third shell okay how many shells is there in the aluminum one this is a second shell total 2s to 2p6 also in second level s orbital is there and p orbital is there already you know already we are discussing number of times and in third shell s orbital is there p orbital is there and d orbital also there in third shell okay This is the first first shell. First shell, how many electrons is there? Two. Okay. Here two electrons. Then second shell. This is the first shell. This is the second shell. This is the third shell. How many electrons is there? Eight. In this, eight. And third shell, three electrons. Okay. First shell two electrons. Second shell eight electrons. Third shell three electrons. This is a aluminium atom. This is aluminium atom. now boron okay this is a boron atom in the boron how many shells is there this is a boron electron first shell second shell only two shells is there first shell second shell 
okay this is the first shell this is the second shell now we can fill the electrons in first shell how many electrons is there two only two in second shell 2s2 2p1 three electron three plus two five okay here in the boron this is a valency shell this is a penultimate shell in penultimate shell how many electrons is there two electrons is there okay in penultimate shell two electrons is there here also we have to uh, discuss this is the valency shell this is a penultimate shell before the valency shell is a penultimate shell okay penultimate shell how many electrons is there eight electrons is there eight electrons is there okay this they show the differences in some of the properties due to the difference in the number of electrons present in their penultimate shell did you understand that point in the penultimate shell number of electrons is different that's why they are showing the some of the properties is different okay so here eight electrons is there here two electrons is there this is about the electronic configurations of 13th group elements in the next class we have to discuss about their occurrence how can we obtain their elements